You said, what do you like to do again? Sorry. Like just blowing things up lah. Blowing, you mean like explode lah, boom. <laughs> What's up, people? You know, the world seems to be getting more and more dangerous with each passing day. So how would people react if they met someone who wants to blow things up? We wanted to find out, so we got some unknowing test subjects through a fake casting call for a shoot about honest conversations. If you don't see a person face to face, right. off the street, are you able to form a connection with them? So I'll be going around trying to get passes by to actually sit in the booth opposite you. I.e. these custom-made confession booths that we built. Pretty straightforward, right? Except for one twist. The passers-by were planted by us to warm up our test subjects right before we brought on our radicalized person and captured their reactions to whatever he said. What is the question people ask you most often? Like, why am I so pissed off all the time? Huh? <laughs> Are you always pissed off all the time? I've tried sharing my thoughts with people in the past and don't know, they just think I'm a nut. Lah, so they'll know the truth one day. Lah. Wow. That sounds very scary. <laughs> I guess they will see the best part of you. Uh, yeah, or, or what is left. Uh. Wow. <laughs> Just came across some stuff on YouTube and some forums. Yeah, I found some friends online also. So they're like your family? La. Yeah, you could say like my brothers. La. At least I found people online who find the good in me. Eh, because like Singapore, no one gives a f what in your life brings you the most joy? The past few years, I actually found out that I'm quite interested in blowing stuff up. Oh, like plants or? No, blowing stuff up. Blowing, you mean like explode, like boom? I mean, it's always nice to catch people off guard and shock them with something that I make, like, you know? It's okay if it makes you happy and you're not harming anyone and everything. I think it's great, right? It definitely makes me happy. Like. So our test subject started to get a little uncomfortable. He was talking about explosives and bombing and all that. And then he says he went online to research things like this. It was kind of creepy and scary of how interested he was in explosives and... Okay, quite uncomfortable. So we decided it was time to reveal that the only thing our radicalized person wants to blow up are balloons. Because he's a struggling balloon artist played by yours truly. We did this because we wanted to have something light-hearted to break the tension when things got a little too weird. Because no one would actually want to dig deeper when talking with a radicalized person, right? Well, we thought wrong. Do you ever think that there's something about yourself that you need to change to feel accepted or not really? It's like the more I try, the more people stay away. Uh. Don't Especially worry, maybe man. they should do this more often. Uh. Like, people yeah. can talk to other people without any judgement. Uh. Actually, uh, I'm just going to ask you. Uh, yeah. Have you been afraid to like open up to people at all, knowing that you've been going through a lot of all these things, right? Like, wanting to feel accepted. Yeah, like, how, to, how to find people who understand what I'm going through. That's where the, the internet is helpful, like, you know. There are some people who really seem to understand, so I and become quite close to them. Like. You think you can contribute to the community? The world right now is quite messed up, so hopefully in our own one by one, we'll, we can make it better. Lah. Nice, man. That was a nice conversation having with you. Yeah. Have a good one, yeah? Yeah, and, and thanks for listening. Uh. It doesn't happen often. Uh. Not a problem, man. Okay, thank you. Yeah, we definitely weren't expecting that. I mean, it was great. Because just being there for someone on the verge of self-radicalization could be the first step to detecting it. But it's not easy, so hats off to the lady in that example. In any case, if you ever spot the following in anyone you know, please alert the Internal Security Department or ISD at 1-800-2626-473 to allow the authorities to intervene in time. And for the person to receive proper counselling and guidance. Because radicalization is a serious problem and we all need to do whatever we can to fight it. Alright guys, we know this is a serious video, but it's an important topic. So please share it with anyone you think might find it useful. As always, thanks so much for watching. Remember to hit subscribe and the notification bell so you get updates anytime we release a new video. Peace!